Hey everybody, welcome to the weekly Inside Real Estate uh, Tactics webinar. And today what we're gonna be doing is Facebook Messenger uh, marketing tactics. So this should be a lot of fun. I actually have a guest uh, today, somebody who's been working a lot with Facebook Messenger and building some a pretty cool tech uh, software around it, around Messenger bots. So I think he'll be able to help me navigate this. I'm not quite an expert myself. So uh, I'll bring him on in a minute. Um, in the meantime, can somebody just let me know that you can hear me and I'll go ahead and share the link to the document with everybody right now. Thanks, William. Um, so I will go here and send over this link, send to all, and you'll have the outline of today's um, webinar. Now, if you're watching the recording of this, uh, and if you're, or if you're watching live, just know that all the recordings can be found. These are always recorded at the link underneath the heading in the document. And if you're watching the recording, you should see a link to the document as well, uh, wherever you're watching. Now, feel free to comment if you're on the live webinar. Uh, ask any questions you might have. We'll stay on after the core content today. If you have any questions in general, we'll hang around to help out uh, with anything you might need. Annalisa, are you here today? Hello, sir. Cool, cool. Great. If you could, I don't know if Nick's on yet. Maybe you can help me make him uh, an organizer, too. I don't see him yet. So um, it's Nick Jensen. You know, yeah. Nick Jensen, I would have had to do that prior, I think, but I can try on the back well, we end can, right now. We can so unmute I'll... him. Yeah. Okay. He, he, can be, he can be a panelist, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and, and start diving into the content, and we'll work on that. So let's start off with just some quick why around Facebook Messenger. I'm going to assume everybody knows what Facebook Messenger is. It's basically the chat app that we all talk through in Facebook. I think on the phone, it's a separate app. We probably all have it installed, and we talk to, to people every day on Messenger. And there's therein is probably why um, we want to why it's a good channel and a good place to engage with leads and a, and a way to generate leads. Um, everybody's using it. They're comfortable with using it, and uh, you're going to get excellent open rates on your messages. Now, I'm just going to quote 90% plus here. Maybe when Nick comes on, he'll tell me a different number, but I've heard that something like nine out of ten or more messenger. Uh, message are eventually open. So compare that to, um, you know, if, if somebody opts into your website, your conversion site, and then they send you send them an email, a drip email, uh, you'll be lucky if 20 or 30 percent are opening that, you know, depending on the quality of the content. Where here, every time you send somebody a message, there's a really good chance they're going to see it. Uh, it's also very mobile friendly. Of course, we all use Facebook on our phones. So Facebook's kind of already doing the hard work there to make sure that Messenger is mobile optimized so you know that people are going to see any content or message you send in Messenger that it's going to be mobile optimized. And that should not be underestimated in this day and age. Um, so mobile friendly. And then later on, we'll talk more about this advanced bot stuff. But it, we've all probably had conversations with bots, whether we know it or not. And it's possible to create uh, conversation flows with Facebook Messenger by creating bots ahead of time. It's a little more advanced, but um, there's some interesting opportunities, especially with conversion and KV Core, where if you do want to build a bot and integrate with third-party software, bot software, uh, you can actually execute con uh, conversations within your conversion site with leads right on the spot without you having to be awake or around or anything like that. So we'll get into that in the outline today as well. Um, let's see. See, you know, it's totally possible Nick doesn't have the. Uh, <laughs> Free jump in. I do need. I need his full name and his email address to add him as a uh, person on this side of things. So. Uh, yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. How about this? I'll just do it like this. <laughs> He's like, when's it happening? <laughs> Oh, you know, no big deal right now. <laughs> Sorry. His name is Jensen, uh, Nick Jensen. And then what's your email? I just assumed he was on. I, it's like those small details. We talked like for an hour this morning over chat, over Messenger, of course, and uh, never thought to. Uh, it's Nick at Spark Combos. Uh, all right, I'll pop in and get him added. Okay, all right. And uh, Lisa is inviting you. Sorry, everybody. All right, so let's keep going with the content of the, the thing here. We don't quite need Nick for this beginning part. Um, 
platform messenger uh, functionality. So the next bullet point I have, we're gonna talk a little bit about the things that Conversion and KB Core do with respect uh, to Messenger. And the biggest one, of course, is gonna be that automatically, uh, assuming you've entered your Facebook ID, your profile uh, URL into the system, there will be a chat widget that automatically connects to your Messenger. So I'm gonna try to get an example of this. Um, mine, I was tweaking mine today, and I don't know if the caching is caught up, so I'll go to another conversion site, and see if I can get it to pop up. Yeah, so down here at the bottom right, guys, you see where it says chat with us. This is always showing up on your screen. If I click this, it's going to open up Facebook Messenger, and I'm gonna be chatting with the, fa the fan page or the individual behind that agent website. So right here, I'm talking with Zerching.com, the website I was at. So that is built in, and the way to configure that, just so everybody knows, and Annalisa, hopefully you'll correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I believe all you need to do is go to my settings and put your Facebook URL right here. Now, I was actually confused. Maybe you can help clear this up. Am I putting my whole Facebook URL or am I just putting the vanity, you know, the end part? It should be the end part, just like right. the Twitter username part. And hey, uh, I tried Nick's address, but it didn't work for me, so I need that one more time. Uh, Nick at Spark, S-P-A-R-K-C-O-N-V-O-S dot com. Oh, SparkConvos dot com. All right, thank you. And uh, so, yeah, you're going to pop. We all probably have the Facebook vanity domain. You're not going to put the whole URL in. You're just going to put the um, the part at the end of your Facebook URL. And then you can click verify. And what it should do is open up your actual profile. And that's how you know it's working. And then that will um, that will start to show the widget on your individual agent website that connects to Messenger. Now, on KV Core, it's similar. You just have to go find your profile page. So I went here, go to my profile, and then there's a spot you see right here. If I edit, I can actually pop that in. And I put the whole URL here. Try it both ways. I think you have to put the whole URL for this one. Wasn't quite sure, and we need to get a better tool tip maybe there. It says Facebook URL, so I put the whole one in. Um, but and people are indicating they can't see your shared screen. So uh, for Tori, Peter, Susan, so I can see Ryan's shared screen, and I, I see it shared. So I'm guess I'm thinking maybe they have a window open up over the session they have open with you. So minimize all of your windows, and okay. then open them up slowly until you see Ryan's per percolating along there. Okay. Yeah, I just and I just refreshed it. I just stopped and then started again. Hopefully that'll help if somebody. Didn't work for some reason. Okay, so that's kind of the built-in messenger stuff. Um, you can also, if you're in uh, KV Core, and and at least I believe you can do it with conversion. You just have to send the code to support, right? But you can actually install custom um, messenger and live chat scripts, just so you know. So you have that option. Uh, you just go to the website and click Edit Settings on the website's page. I think I gave a link and instructions in the doc. And then if you scroll down, you'll see it says custom chat widget. So if you have code for a third-party software like ManyChat, we're going to talk about these uh, Nick's uh, Spark Convos, which I don't think is launched yet. But, um, you know, if you have any third-party code, you can override the existing messenger and do it there. And there's a few reasons why you'd want to do that. And guess what? <laughs> it says Facebook username for chat. So there we go. Maybe that's where in core I had it messed up. Uh, I put the URL in the one spot. And then you're going to want to make sure you put it right here. It's right underneath the custom chat widget. Right. So the setting on your actual profile is what creates the little icon at the top right-hand side of your website for Facebook. So people can go right to your Facebook page. And then this setting within the general website settings is what it connects that messenger. Great. Yeah, that's why I was confused because now I can see yeah. it. Now it's popping up down here at the bottom. Excellent. All right. So that's sort of the built-in. Um, stuff. Again, you have a lot of flexibility with respect to installing custom widgets. Um, I'm going to show you also, you, there may be a reason you want to do this. You can actually, at your Facebook page, um, create a little light widget as well. So we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the next big use of this, of course, is going to be uh, Facebook ads as an objective. And I want to touch upon this because we talk about driving traffic a lot uh, on these webinars. And 
I, I have had some really good success. I know other people have simply running ads that instead of driving traffic over to my conversion site, um, I'll actually have people reply by messenger in order to get a specific piece of content. Um, and of course, there's there's some reasons why you might want to do this. Uh, you're instantly in conversation with the person. You kind of cut out that middle step where they opt in and become a lead, and then you have to hope that they reply to a text or an email. So with a messenger ad, they're messaging your page directly. They're replying, and then you can start to talk to them. Um, you oh, you might not now. The downside is you're not going to have the email and phone, but you will have their Facebook profile, whatever they allow to be publicly viewable. I think. And you'll be able to see and learn more about them and start to follow up from there and do your, do your thing from a sales perspective. Um, so let's just show quickly how to run a messenger ad. And I have some ideas for the types of ads you might run. Basically, all of the ideas are very similar to what you would do with a regular Facebook uh, ad that you're just clicking out. So we've done in previous weeks, we've talked about running ads for specific property sets like new construction, open houses, uh, fixer uppers, things of that nature. You can do the same exact thing with Messenger, but instead of clicking them out to the site, they're going to come in and um, and they're just going to start talking to you. So what I would do is go to my Facebook account. Let me go back here, my Facebook ads account. And Nick has joined us, so welcome, Nick. Cool. Oh, hey, yep. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. Sorry, I, we talked all day, but I never sent you the link to the webinar. Sorry about that. No worries. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go here and click Create as I create my ad. And Facebook makes this pretty easy now. Um, you can actually access a Messenger option, or option from the traffic. And Nick, feel free to chime in if, if I get anything wrong or you want to add anything. Uh, but you can simply pick the Messages uh, objective right here. And let's just call this one, let's say it's um, Property uh, Listings message me, I'll call this campaign. And that would be one idea where you could run ads for a specific listing and then have people message you uh, for the, the info. So let's just run through this. It doesn't hurt. I know this is basic for those of you that run Facebook ads, but I'll just pick my town, right? Pick everybody in town. Maybe I wanna show a listing to people who I think might be first time buyers. 25 to 32. Uh, I can still pick renters. I don't know if that'll still be there after Facebook clamps down on the data, but for now I can. And I'm just not gonna get into the placements right now. I like to unselect audience network a lot. And it actually did because that's right, the messenger objective is not available. So it's automatically gonna choose what's available for the messenger objective. You got Facebook, Instagram, um, and messenger itself for the ad. Got my daily budget set. And then I can run, again, here, if we go back to the doctor, some ideas. We can run one for a single property, a list of properties. We can do recruiting, a list of recent sold properties. Let's, let's hinge in on this because I haven't talked a lot about this, and I know a lot of people are concerned with seller lead generation. And this is experimental, but I have had success with this with a regular click or a lead ad objective doing something like, um, like this. So let me find. I'll just use a free stock image right now. House value. I use this one because those other ones look like they had a lot of text in them, which Facebook doesn't always like. We like to keep it under 20%. And then um, I'll go here. I'll go uh, recent, write my headline first. Uh, recently sold properties in uh, 33711, my zip code. All right. For a uh, Recent list properties. Quick send message for a recent list of properties that have sold in the 33 zip code so you can know where the market's at and uh, get an idea for what your property is worth. I'm kind of doing this on the fly right now, so I might do a little better with the copy, but that format should work okay. Um, I'm telling them what's in it for them. They're going to find out what their property's worth. And in my headline is big recently sold properties in the 33711. I did forget a big step. I forgot to pick my f Facebook page here. So do opportunity knocks.
Okay, and here we go. It says click send message for a reason less properties are sold in that zip code. So you know what property is that and how idea what your property is worth. And this is pretty simple. Um, there's not much here uh, other than <laughs> I can I can basically put this ad live and then people when they see the ad in their stream, they can send me a message and ask for the property, the list of recently sold properties. Now, this particular example isn't um, related to conversion per se, but what you could do when they reply is you can say, yeah, I'll send you, I need your address and I'll send you a CMA, maybe you send them an RPR report and you say, and, or you could say, hey, go ahead on over to this page, right? So we'll go to our sell page on our conversion or core site. And when they reply, simply send them this link to give them what they want. Um, and Nick, I know you're going to have a lot more color to add to that with, with respect to options, but that's the basic of a messenger ad, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, now, so, so that's that. I think everybody, that's enough of a demo for you guys to get started. Just use your imaginations, offer property lists. You can put a specific listing, leave out the price and just say message me for the price or, you know, message me for details about the open house time, whatever you want to do. Uh, and this will work. People will message you. Um, there. If, and, and if you can try to integrate uh, conversion in a way that what your reply is generally some kind of link to a list, that's a, that's a good way to make sure that you get contact info, let conversion do its thing there. Okay, another idea, another way to use messenger links before we get into the fun, hairy stuff with Nick is, uh, an idea ahead was using messenger in your email follow-ups. So you can easily add messenger to all your, as a, as a, to your email signature at the bottom of your name and company, you can say, hey, want to chat right now? Click here. Uh, and your messenger link is probably going to be easy for you to find. I'd say the easiest way for you to find that link would be to go to your own conversion site and click that little chat bubble right here. I can copy the link address and then I know that my messenger link is https colon m dot me slash house your mom. Yours will be whatever your, you know, your Facebook profile ID is. So you can include this in your email signatures. And then I have an example of also including messenger calls to action within your drip campaigns inside of core and conversions. So if I go here to my screenshot, here's just a screenshot from my settings page where I send a St. Pete Deals link it says, hi, thanks for accessing the links. I've used this example a lot on these webinars. In case you don't have time to look at them all now, here's a direct link. And then here's my extra language right here. Maybe I can make it a little bigger. Uh, if you'd like to chat now about your specific home buying or investing criteria, you can click and then I just give them a link to my messenger to start a Facebook messenger chat with me now. I'll also let you know any about any great deals I know about. So you can kind of use the, the messenger link and idea as a way for people to get instant access to you around what you're sending them in email. And since you can create drip campaigns and even drip texts with the systems, um, this is a nice opportunity to get people talking to you right there. So makes sense, everybody. Does anybody have any questions, uh, feedback? I think it's phenomenal. And I know that, you know, we say conversion KB core, but the cool thing about this is the principle behind this entire thing that he's presenting can work for basically anything you want to direct people for information. So it's KB core, conversion, any link, messenger. Yeah. It's uh, universal. Yeah, so it's a great way for, you know, people don't need us till they need us, you know, when they're urgent to see a house. If they keep getting emails from you with information, they keep seeing your messenger link, so they keep ignoring it. But then when they, they get the sudden need, the urgency, you know, the house down the street, there's a sign outside and they need you, they know they can go right to Facebook and find you. Um, and uh, it's just a great thing to have out there and dangle and just integrate it with the automation that, that Facebook offer, that uh, conversion and core offer. All right, so now I'm going to get into more of the, that was sort of the basics part, the first 15 minutes here. Now I'm going to get into some of the more fun stuff, Nick. And I don't know, do, do you want to take over here and just uh, riff on this? Um, the only thing yeah. I had was, you know, this, this section here about creating a custom chat widget inside of Facebook. Yeah, so their uh, customer chat widget, I'm guessing, yeah? Yeah, where, where you can go into your Facebook page, which is where I am on the screen here, and yep. if you click the Messenger platform option, I was just playing with this today, and I, this has changed, I think, or at least since I saw it last, um, mm -hmm. but you, can, you have some options here. 
Um, so, for example, the customer check plugin, you can actually set a script. So I, I was thinking this morning, I thought I had written this, but hi, would you like to see a list of fixer uppers and other deal types today? All right, we could play with that, save this widget, hit next, set your response time. You can even customize the colors, which is cool. And at least I assume I can take this chat code and send it to support or install it in KV Core. It would need to go directly to support if it's for a business. If it is for the like the person entity, like to go to your timeline chat, like your personal chat, you just put in your information as normal. But if you're going to connect a business chat, it needs to go through support. Okay, even in KV Core where it has this custom chat widget. This thing right here. I am not 100%. I'll double check, but as far as I know, if it's for a business, it needs to go to support. But I'll, okay. I'll ask them right now. Well, I'll try it, and uh, don't uh, tell support not to kill me for causing like 50 <laughs> support <laughs> codes. But, but basically, you know, it is a cool option because you're basically overlaying a call to action that's specific to a property type uh, or whatever your niche is right onto your website. So let me just see if it worked. And then I'll let you start talking finally, Nick, here in a second. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it did. Nope, look it at that. Nice. <laughs> so look, yeah, isn't that cool? So definitely, guys, if you have a fan page and you're active and you, uh, you're using KV Core, um, you can do this for conversion. You just have to send what I just did to support. But this is pretty cool. It looks like it truncated, it chopped it off. Um, but that's okay. I probably went over the, the text limit. But wow, this is really neat. A really great way. Anybody who's searching on your site from day to day can reach out to you about a specific idea. Um, Wow, I like that. <laughs> All right, so what else yeah. you got now? How else can we automate? I'm gonna let you go now. How else can we automate? Oh man. Um, well, you can create bots um, right. that are of course connected to that page, right? That handle the conversation um, so you don't have to. Because right. let's be honest, so, uh, as agents, we don't wanna talk to people until we need to. <laughs> yeah, sorry, can you what? You're saying, you know, yeah, can I, can I find an example of one that comes to mind for you? Um, maybe I'll go to that on the screen here. Um, as far as, as far as bots go. Yeah. Like a, like a fan page that has one or a link to one. You know, doorsteps has one. Okay. Doors, doorsteps.com. Yeah. They've got a, they've got a bot They're in the discovery, which you didn't talk about. Well, why not, can I give you the screen and let you kind of rip yeah. on this? Okay, so let's do that. Look, there you go. Look, right there. Search in. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yes, your cursor. <laughs> and just while he's getting set up, just as a reminder to everyone, we are recording this. You will be able to access this recording at a later time, as well as the doc that Ryan is creating and <clears> adding <throat> on to. Okay, I guess you can see my stuff, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, let me... Let me pop up my phone too, because I think adding that in there will. Um, so yeah, we can like we can completely automate the uh, conversations um, through you know tools like uh, ManyChat or or you know Convos, um, both of which he's mentioned in there. Um, let me see. Trust this. Oh, that's me. Hey, sorry guys. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, actually, Sorry, I, think about I it. thought this was ready and sure is yeah. not. Um, oops. All right. <laughs> so I, um, you know, when it comes to like creating those ads and those just listed ads and, and all that kind of stuff that Ryan was talking about earlier, um, I, I created a, a simple one here uh, using our bot. Um, that does a, a, a just listed thing. So um, when it when you click on the ad, it it not only opens up in Messenger, but it opens up with this cool little um, this cool little like landing page type thing inside of Messenger, um, which you know helps them to kind of continue the idea of engaging and really kind of starting the conversation. Um, so if I can preview this in Messenger, so when you're creating these things and you go to Messenger setup. Uh, you can create these and you can um, 
Let me see if I pull this out so it looks a little better in like it would like in a phone. Nope. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> yeah. So when you open it up, um, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so when so when somebody clicks on the ad, instead of just opening up in Messenger, um, it opens up in Messenger and it and it shows exactly uh, what you made in that little widget. So um, you know, here we have just listed in the market in Stow, ready to take a look. Um, so when they click on this. Uh, so they click on this button, and when they click on this button, it's going to automatically start that conversation with um, with that bot, um, where all this stuff happens automatically in the background, um, and then just like that, it's hey, do you want to you want to list of my top pick properties in the market right now? I pulled together my favorites. You ready to take a look? Uh, they'll just respond yes, and then about a boom, about a bing. We'll take a look at these. So then what you can do is we can load these in and um, we uh, like, so for example, this, um, all these are pulled directly from, from a conversion site. So when we click see inside with this great little card set thing, it opens up and then there it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Um, and of course, you know, you can put up to uh, like Facebook Messenger allows up to nine cards like this to be available inside of there um you know if you're using if you're using those tools where you self-create the stuff um you know it takes some work we i'll be honest we, we kind of uh we're opening up the the website and taking a look at the website with our with our with our platform here and um we're actually grabbing the just listed based on that uh on those details now of course you can share them which is another great awesome feature um that I've always loved. So um, say you've got two people that, you know, are home shopping together. They click on this link, they're like, oh man. And I'm like, oh man, Ryan, we got to check out this house. So then I can just send it to Ryan. And then just like that, he sees that inside of his messenger as well. So now he's got a link to that property to your conversion site. You've got the link to the conversion site. And of course, you know, when they're in there, you, you can let conversion take over and do what it does best, right? Yeah, so you're you're pulling. This is actually what made me reach out to you because I was thinking about doing a message. I saw you post a video of this. Are you yeah. doing this automatically, or are you manually creating the the cards with the different properties? No, so this is all done automatically through the um, the software that we built. Um, okay. So, <laughs> you know, this is like this is just a list of Stow. So if if a new listing were to come on right now and we loaded this up again, it would be um, it would be completely different. Now we can also do this for single property. So let me see. Now, if you wanted to manually do this, because I know you're not fully launched yet, or you, you could have made cards here in this in this screen, right? Or or different buttons with images of properties. Um, so like if you wanted to do like a single one, right? Um, it would be you could no. Nope. No, you need some sort of tool to create that automated um, okay. type. Right, of, I couldn't manually put three images of properties as the different cards, and then people would click through to my three top listings. Not directly inside of Facebook ads, right? Okay. Um, it, you need some sort of tool to be able to send that to somebody. So okay. if I do this one, so this is a different test one that we set up here for today. Oops. Sorry, gang. All right, so here we go. Same thing. We could you can change up what this looks like. You can add images. Um, you've got up to eighty characters in that intro message, and then another one. Um, so this is just a single property one um, that we're taking a look like. Uh, so you can you know just go in there, say hey, we've got this great home that just listed. Um, see price details, all that kind of stuff inside Facebook Messenger. Um, of course, we click yes, and then it's like all right, hey, great, here it is. So then we take this single property listing, of course, all this stuff going back to in conversion, um, loading up that single property listing that they sell on Messenger. Um, of course, they can request, hey, you want to schedule a showing, or I can share it again with you know those people that I'm shopping with. Um, but then again, not quite the home. We can do more searches. So uh, you know, to get these kind of card sets inside of there, inside of Messenger, and to start to talk to everything. Um, you know, even if you want to do it manually and upload the photos and create the cards, you, you do need some software platform 
um, to create that type of engagement inside of Messenger. Right. Yeah, so I, I've up till now, I've been using ManyChat, which is kind of the one side, it, it's not industry specific. Um, it just has a bunch of tools in it. I know you've been building something geared toward real estate. Um, yeah. What else, what, what other scenarios? Just feel free to kind of show us some other ideas because I'm not familiar. I know you have a bunch of different things uh, that combos can do, right? Or have on the roadmap. Yeah, so I mean, there's a bunch of different things. Um, you know, our, our thought was, um, you know, it's there's there's enough garbage out there that you have to do to market your properties um, and then follow up with people um, and then connect all the systems. So let's let's just make it easy. Um, let's take all those great ideas of just listed single properties, all that good stuff, and kind of push it all into one thing where then we can then converse and decide. So I'm sorry, this is a little bit rough. We're like on that last week of like cleaning up <laughs> the user yeah. interface kind of stuff. Um, so uh, Convos is, is kind of cool. We've got, we've got two ways to engage right now. First is um, through Facebook Messenger. You can run all these Facebook Messenger ads. Um, here's, you know, here's a conversation you can see. Oh, man. Um, so we're, we're, we're still cleaning that up a bit. But the great thing is I can send a message back. Even though it all does automatic follow-up, we can send a message back and then, you know, fully have a conversation with the person um, and even pause all that automation. So if I click on this pause button here, um, we just pause it. And then instead of it responding, it would be like, uh, and of course all this is happening in real time. So there you see, I didn't like it. Um, and then, you know, we're adding more things on there, but um, the goal is the simple thing that, you know, we're adding this that feature that where, you know, for messenger tools, you want to create just listed open house. Um, we've got a great, we've got instant home values um, that'll provide that instant home value inside there. The name your price, if you're looking for seller leads, um, going back to what Ryan's saying, that just sold concept with a, with a name your price, like these guys are selling for this. Uh, here's this list. Um, name your price and tell us what it would be, what you would sell for, kind of like Zillow's making move. Um, and then of course, all those hot lists and stuff. So all you do is you take your, you go to your conversion site, um, take a link, take a link, whether it's a single property or you want to do search um, and create that down there. And then you, you literally will just paste it into, we're finishing that up today, as you can see. Um, but you literally just paste it into uh, the Compost platform and then boom, it's uh, there. And then you can run Facebook ads to it. Um, you can have those short dot, short little links. Um, we've got an open house sign in so people can use Facebook Messenger to scan these. I don't know if you guys have seen any of these yeah. uh, little, little scan codes, but if you just open up uh, Facebook Messenger, the camera, hold it down over the scan code, um, you can do cool things like that to sign people into your open houses where you know, then you can follow up with them instantly. Um, so you can download those, save those. Uh, there's the send to messenger buttons too, which are kind of, which are kind of, well, let me, uh, where we go? So send a messenger um, that you can install with little pop-up things. And it's not my sessions. Oh, I need a new session. Hang on. <laughs> this, yep. this is what happens when you set cookies and session tags and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, man. Yep. Um, so let's see if I do this. So here's an exit pop up. Um, so the send a messenger button, it loads uh, just like that. You can install it on a landing page um, or you can install exit intents like this. Um, and when you click on that, it opens up and starts the conversation inside of Facebook Messenger as well. You just um, said something, uh, exit intents. So that, that'll that be useful. I mean, that's another piece of code we can put in our core or conversion sites. People leave and say, you want to see the best deal in Tampa right now. Yeah, exactly. No and then it starts a bot conversation right there. Um, really, really cool. I think one of the big things here, and the reason I'm excited to have you on is that Messenger itself, we kind of know it's out there, but Facebook's putting so much around it. And I think what you're doing is probably a year or two ahead of the curve where we might see messenger and bots start to take over uh, the place that maybe email had in the past. Right? Yeah, I think um, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say take over email. I think 
I think what we're coming to is is more of a, a, a conversation based, the ability for people to kind of reach out when they want to reach out um, type of scenario um, and on their own terms, right? So they can reach out on, on Messenger, they can reach out on text, they can reach out on email. You know, you've got different people that, you know, prefer different things. But I mean, like at the end of the day, we're kind of a now, now society, right? Where we want an instant response. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you're going to start using these things, you know, either have an automated follow up available or, you know, be prepared to follow up inside of Messenger and respond to people, right? Um, and I like uh, most of us, most of us are chatting in Messenger all day. I think mo most of us on right? the 50. <laughs> or, but we, we yeah. live in the. You know, it, it's even it's even over 50, Ryan. I mean, like we're yeah, seeing yeah. over the last year, we've seen like people that engage 60 years old, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but, you know, we also have, we also are um, introducing the, um, our own custom web messenger too, so as to not alienate people that don't use Facebook Messenger initially. Um, so we can just have a conversation and in, the next month we'll be able to take this conversation and take it from your website and send it to Facebook Messenger as well. So as they go to leave, instead of it being like, oh, hey, um, this, do you want to test drive it in Messenger? It'll be like, oh, hey, don't lose your conversation and send it to Facebook Messenger and we'll be able to take that and then move it over. Um, so. And that'll be bot related, that, that'll be like bot flows too, where they can choose different yeah. options. Yeah, I see yeah it'll be total block flows. Yeah, so I mean, you can choose different options. Um, it, it works exactly like that. Um, and, and again, on the back end, you've got all these conversations that are happening. This is a different account that I'm not signed into. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> right. but I love it. I mean, you're, you're talking, somebody comes to a real estate website and you hit them a question like, uh, you know, are you a first time buyer? And they say, yeah, yeah. Like, watch my first time buyer webinar. Yeah, so we've got we've got a couple of those uh, like quick buyer, um, you know, quick qualifiers is what I is what I call them, um, where it's just like, hey, quick question, um, how soon are you looking to make a move, right? Or hey, quick question, do you also have a home to sell? Um, and then being able to follow up with them through Facebook Messenger is is so awesome because yeah, I don't know if you noticed this, but. Even if you, even if somebody, so I'm going to preview this, right? So even if somebody clicks on your ad, but doesn't engage in their Facebook messenger, have you noticed this, Ryan, that it, that it'll just stay there Yeah. in your and messenger then, home. And a lot of us read our messenger like an inbox because you, you want to see what you forgot to reply to. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So it still shows up there until they engage or delete it. So, um, I think there's a huge opportunity there with Facebook Messenger to really engage. And what we've seen over the last year or so has been been a lot of fun. And right, what are you seeing Man. right now? I'm running. Go ahead, Annalisa. Yep. Well, go I was going to say, as we're thinking the Messenger, and we and maybe there's something you can loop back to. But for those who aren't actively engaging and using these types of tools, if you could show them where to find the messages, because a lot of us know when we get things from mm -hmm. our friends, but not from other people we don't know. So maybe just the location of where they can find those. Yeah, and so this is one of those things where I've found that Facebook does a terrible job at. <laughs> a little um, bit. <laughs> they do a really, well, it's, it, it. not only like do they do a terrible job, but like this stuff just disappears and you don't actually get the notifications always when somebody engages you. Um, so if I go to this one, uh, let's see here, we set up the inbox here. And then you go to inbox, you would go to your Facebook page, go to inbox. Um, if you have, um, if you've connected a chat bot platform to your web, to your Facebook page, um, you're going to, you're going to have messages end up everywhere. Um, you'll have the inbox and then you'll even have this done folder where like, look at all these, like all these people, I didn't, I, I didn't check. <laughs> yeah, you almost so, need a calendar reminder to check. Right? Um, because it shows up done because uh, it automatically marks it as done and um, then you don't you don't 
get these you messages. Gotta and you, right like, there, man. you should get on that right now. That that Michael guy, he wants to smoke with his house. Where's he at? <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Is that a test or something? I'm kidding. Yeah. Around. <laughs> yeah, definitely a test. I got, you know, this is a lot. This is one of those things when you've been creating these things for a while and people kind of know what your, um, <laughs> right. what some of your test pages are. You get people that are uh, definitely all out to get your ideas and take them from you. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is one of those things where, like, if you've got that bot um, connected, it'll automatically put things like, look, she's trying to sell me something they don't necessarily always end up in the inbox. So you've got to check. And the worst thing is, if you've got that Pages app on Facebook or, or on your phone, they don't load on there half the time. So you have to go to a desktop to see those done image, those done ones. It's the craziest thing. So, so I, if, if you just work it into your daily routine of checking all of your different aspects of how people can contact you, yeah. you can keep on top of it. I'd say that'd be a great, great goal. Cool. So, so um, in terms of, have you been actively running ads uh, for lead gen? Do you have any pointers for people what's working best with the messenger uh, objective? And, and I guess I wanted to ask, th these are going to be built into convos, the ad templates? Or is it more? Yeah, so uh, the ad templates are more of like a, hey, here's our library of all the stuff that we keep testing everywhere. Um, but it's, you know, as far as setting those ads up, it's it's pretty easy. It's, um, you know, we give you the, uh, you, when you're in the Facebook ads, you, you pick a, how you want that ad to look. Of course, you set the, up your initial ad. Um, and then, of course, the click through to um, the, that, um, what it looks like inside of Messenger, where then they can click that button. And then we give you that nice little uh, simple payload to open up um and start that conversation um you know some of the things that we've seen it you know over the, the last year i would say um <clears throat> giving giving value first through that engagement and then going back through to ask them for their email and ask them for a little bit more information um over time um, since you're doing it conversationally people are a little bit more willing to to engage and, and kind of bring up that information you know give up that information you know um, hey, I can send this over to your. E I can send you regular properties over to your email, and then you can go back through, add them to your conversion in the back end, and send them up on home search, right? Um, you know, I think I think there's a lot of mentality around being about having to have a phone number, but I don't necessarily think that we need that much anymore with that direct line of communication through Facebook Messenger. But um, being able to get that phone number and put it into your conversion for follow up eventually will be helpful, but um yeah i think there's one yes yeah, one of the things i like yeah. I, I i've done this a few times i believe I, you can you can see their profile you can go and send a friend request if somebody engaged with them. yeah yeah you certainly can so um i mean like in the so, so, so scenario you know if somebody engages on my conversion site i ask them a question about whether they're first time buyer they answer i go over to yeah. facebook I, uh, I send a friend request, but I also see they went to school with my brother, right? Yeah. I, it's cool. Like, I, I have something to talk about. Instead of it just being some random phone number or email address, I have no context. Yeah, no, I think that's, I mean, I think that's, we're, we're, we're in a more socially engaged conversational society now, right? Where it's easier to just kind of, oh, hey, I, I was creeping on you, but I noticed some things. So you've got conversation yeah. started there, right? Yeah. Well, cool. Thank you, Nick. I mean, is there anything else you want to drill in? I just really, I wanted to give you the opportunity to show what you've been building because I, I do think it's, even if it's a little ahead of the curve, I think it's where a lot of, I think there's just a ton of opportunity, uh, especially in little markets, you know, where our competitors might not be as savvy. If we jump on things like this now, we might have a good six month to a year run um, generating a cheaper lead, getting into more conversations. Uh, and I see combos as a big competitive advantage, you know, messenger in general. Um, yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. I don't, I don't know if I have a whole lot more to add, um, <laughs> but you know, conversation is important and being able to start that conversation earlier will definitely give you that competitive advantage. Right. So. Cool. Let me open it up and ask anybody else. Uh, does anybody here have any questions? I know people are going to ask about, um, 
combos itself. I have questions about combos uh, when you're launching it and things like that. So I'll let you do that in a minute. But does anybody have any questions yeah. about either combos or messenger in general? All right, well, no questions. I'm just going to go do it. Nick, I want yep. combos. I want the tool, and I've been asking you for like a year. So I, know. I haven't seen it, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Well, I was, well, was going to say, you know, because we're always taking feature requests and looking to build out the marketplace, right? So if this is something that people are finding there's a huge interest in, or it's the wave of the future. I mean, it certainly looks intriguing and awesome. Uh, you know, you can submit feature requests to the KB Core team to have these items brought into the marketplace. Now, I don't know the process from there, but we are taking those actively. So, Ryan, I'll um, send you the link to the feature request yes. form, and that way, if someone wants to request it or any feature request, then they have it. But uh, that might be a good way of getting this in front of the powers that be if this is something that people Nick, are wanting. I, Nick, I think you've started some of those com conversations, right? Yeah, Probably. we've we've. There was, yeah. yeah, there was some uh, initial conversation um, about it, and I think uh, we're still working on follow-up. Uh, we're getting ready to, you know, release, um, and one of our focus has been building it so um, that it's, that it'll be ready for uh, conversion um, to be able to send. I know conversion recently released the uh, webhooks in your follow-up, and we'll have the opportunity for you to send a webhook back to Facebook Messenger from your um, follow-up after we add that to um, what, what's that going to do? That's that's exciting. Am I going to be able to start a conversation with a Facebook person, a person on so, Facebook? So, yeah. So, well, so if you get a lead that comes in through your Facebook Messenger ads, um, what we do is we keep all this data, and we we uh, right now it's built directly with Zapier, so we can send a Zap to uh, Zapier. Then you can add that um, to conversion. Um, and then once it's in conversion, of course, if you save that specific ID that we send with that user, we then match it back on our end. And with that webhook, you can send a Facebook message follow-up. Okay. Yeah, and as an aside, webhooks are in the cards for KD Core. It's, it's in the product development phase. So it's available via conversion right now. It's in development for KD Core. Cool. Cool. All right, so go ahead. You know, I didn't. I didn't want you to come on and pitch. And you said, I said, I know you're not ready. You know, but you can just tell people about when Combos is launching, what the pricing might be, and everything. Um, you know. Yeah. So, like I said, uh, we're like we're in the process. We're like ninety percent with the way of like fixing bugs and you know putting together that like it was like those ones that I showed you where we're like going and grabbing automatically all that stuff to uh, from. Um, conversions, the conversion website, and putting it into Facebook Messenger. Uh, I thought about that on Friday. <laughs> okay. So um, my team is like, um, "Why do you keep? Why do you keep doing this? You're pushing us back a week." So um, we're finishing up right now, like all of that, all of that nitty gritty um, details and fixing fixing a few of the sign up flows. Um, it it's like ready for the most part, ninety percent. Um, we're we're going to take on early users um, as early as next week. Um, to bring people on and, and, you know, those people will get an extra month um, on us as well, because, you know, it's, there's going to be a few enough. bugs that will, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, like I said, we're like 90% ready. We're finishing up a few things this week and um, it'll be, it'll be good to go next week for bringing on those early users. Cool. Um, all right. I guess I'll put in a doc if if you have a link. I'll you know, and it's cool to share it. I'll put a, a link to sign up in the doc. Um, I just want to reiterate. Yeah. I think what Nick has here is an advanced way to use Messenger. And anybody who's driving Facebook traffic regularly, in particular, I'd say you're going to want to give stuff like this a look because it, you know, the cost per engagement might be really attractive. You know, on on the geek level. Um, but even even just the basic stuff we talk about today, you know, putting the widget on your conversion site, uh, making sure you're offering something cool, you know, having these conversations and integrating Messenger in your email follow-ups, uh, you're going to get pretty far with that stuff. So, so uh, that's about yeah, it. Absolutely. Yep. Do you, Do you have pricing yet? There's a question about how much it is. So, um, there's public pricing on our website. Uh, we've got. But if you go through all that, you'll just get put in a queue of people that are on the list to get access. Um, 
<laughs> we have some we have early pricing available that is um, not public for those people that we're bringing on early. I can give you a link, Brian. Okay, uh, let me let if me do that it. Works for you. I didn't really think this through. Let me run it past uh, conversion because I don't know what yeah, talk yeah. about with them. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? And yeah. then, uh, yeah. and I can include it in the doc, or we'll send an email out or something when you're ready. Sure. Sure, man. Cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks, Annalisa. You have anything else to add? Anybody have any questions? Uh, just so it's recorded, we're going to drop the recording on the conversion business page. Uh, so that's the, just go to conversion, our business page. You'll see the video section. You'll see all of Ryan's past uh, webinars there as well with links to the docs. And then we also post these within the groups. Uh, so thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you, Annalisa. Thanks, Nick. Thanks a yeah, lot. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See everybody next week.